Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Neji. I'm glad to be talking to you guys again. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and share with your friends because uh, you might be helping um, someone who actually needs this information. So today we'll be talking about the NOC code, the uh, National Occupational Classification Code. In my previous video, I promised you guys that I'm going to be releasing a video on the NOC code. But before I jump into this, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, I'm not a licensed uh, immigration uh, professional. I'm just someone who uses my own personal experience to actually pass um, you know, some good information that could help people who are looking to apply uh, to come to Canada. So <clears throat> real quick, the National Occupational Classification Code, um, it's a code that is assigned to different job titles based on um, the type of job the person does uh, and the uh, and the job duties so um, I'm gonna be walking you guys step by step on how to use the tool uh, that the government of Canada has provided that you can use to streamline your search to be able to know uh, what what classification code that your job title actually falls under right so without wasting so much of your time let's jump into this so I can walk you step by step on how to use the tool here we go um, so we just want to go to our best friend Google um, and just type NOC code um, Okay, let's see All right, and then select the first one All right, so here we go. So this is the government of Canada uh, website um, Where you can actually uh, find out your your knock code um, so it's actually broken down into different groups uh, the first one is the management jobs, um, like restaurant managers, my managers, and so on. Um, there are many other jobs that fall under that category, but I'm going to show you how to find that. Um, the next one is the skill level A, um, more like professional jobs that actually require like a degree, uh, doctors, dentists, uh, architects, uh, and many more. Um, and then skill level B, uh, technical jobs. Um, you know that actually require like um, skilled trade uh, or like a college diploma uh, and then skill uh, skill level th level C uh, uh, which require just high school uh, such as industrial butchers long haul truck drivers beverage servers and all that and then you have the D uh, which are like the, the labor jobs right yeah so uh, one one important information that I want to give to you guys is um, um, if you fall on the knock O, A and B, then you can apply for like, you know, the express entry program through the federal skilled worker class, um, the Canadian experience class or provincial nominee or the federal skilled trade so you can apply for you know all of them um, but the skilled level D uh, cannot apply for the Atlantic pilot program right so maybe I'll, I'll be doing a different uh, video about the pilot uh, the Atlantic pilot program because I don't want to complicate issues here, right here I just want to focus more on the knock codes but I just wanted to give you guys that information as well uh, and the C and D uh, cannot apply for the express entry uh, program but they can just apply for a work permit right so uh, if you didn't really get that no worries about that possibly my next video you you get to know um, you know uh, more about how specific uh, the C and the D uh, uh, can you get more information about that uh, but real quick um, so let's just jump into how to use the tool so first things first you want to scroll down you can see like um, it's already going to list the knock codes right here it's going to list the job titles and then also the type right so you can scroll down you can see it goes way 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 further down to D right and job titles uh, okay let's just go back here and just say five so you get o and a right so you, you can just see like it, it lists like so many types of jobs and gives you the code right so now but 
this is how I do mine, right? To actually find the code really faster. Because um, I, you know, you can't start going from one, two, three, four to find yours. So let's just say, um, you know, you're like a, like a, let's say manager. Okay, let's just say you're a manager trainee. All right. Okay, so you, you're searching the filter items, right? And then you see where it says um, retail and wholesale trade managers. So you can click on that, right? And then what you can do is uh, it's going to tell you, uh, you know, the title and also that's the code here, 0621, right? And then it's going to tell you the lead statement, um, more or less like, you know, what that, that job title actually does. And um, example of the title. So you can see as it says, antique dealers, assistant managers in retail, um, you know, clothing store managers, you know, spotting good store managers and all that. So this is what's going to list. But if you want to see more, more of the titles, so you see where it says view all. So you click on that and then it's going to list more of the different job titles for you. So you can see that so many that fall under that category right so that's how you can get more more titles so just click on view view all and then you'll be able to see you know more of that right view all titles now here is going to list the main duties of that response of, of that job title for you right so like for example for the retail who trade managers perform some of all the following duties so they plan direct and evaluate the operations of a blah 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 so it's just gonna it's gonna show you like um you know the duties right so if your job tied to actually falls under that ca this category right so you want to make sure that your the duties that is listed on your reference letter which you'll be getting from your employer has to match this but now this is very important to note that you cannot just copy exactly what you see here and paste on your reference letter because that would like be rejected you know because it can be exact but you want to try to word it in such a way that it can you know come close to what the duties are so you have to just rephrase it right close to what this is don't just copy this exactly and paste it on that on your reference letter you know that's that's not going to be good right so yeah so it's just breaking that down for you and then just the employment requirements just gives you more information about the title right so basically that's how to find it right so um maybe we'll do like a one more and then that will be it so let's see uh so let's just say uh doctor all right so one second here let me just go back all right so we're back here so we're just gonna say uh let's just say doctor all right um, <clears throat> or let's just use dentist right so you see how it says that's the number 3113 dentist and um, that's a so i can click on that and then it's going to show you like different you know the examples of the title and then the main function is uh, the main duties as well so if you want to do view all then that gives you more you know more 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 types like um you know the oral surgeon and all that stuff right so yeah so basically that's how you do it just you know go into that box the filter box and just type in like what it, whatever you are and then that's that's gonna give you you know exactly what uh you know close to what you're looking for or exactly what you're looking for <music> guys welcome back um so that's how you use the the tool to actually find your knock code it's pretty simple it's not that complicated 
please um if you feel this video was actually helpful please like subscribe share with your friends as you could be helping you know someone who actually needs that this information and for all those who are also watching this video and have all our useful information as well please feel free to leave your comments below in the comment section uh, that would be helpful as well um, you guys don't forget to like subscribe to my channel because that actually supports me as well so um, I think that's it for now I'll see you guys in the next video have a great one okay love you all bye